Hi, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello. I really enjoyed the series, especially um, Kate. She was uh, intriguing because she's the protagonist and she's our eyes and ears, but she's not altogether reliable. I know, I know. She has a lot of secrets. He has a lot of secrets and it, it, you know, it worried us at the beginning when we, when we were taking on this script because she is somebody who has characterized this job as, you know, I have to tell a little white lie. It's fine. It's grand. It won't hurt anybody. I'll go and do the job. I'll find out what I need to. We'll turn opinion around. I'll leave. It'll be fine. She's completely unrealistic, of course. And one of the things that she's missing is that any lie of any kind, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. It just does. Um, and yeah. what she doesn't understand as well is that she won't just go in, do it and leave, that she will get drawn into these people. And we all come to love them as an audience and she comes to love them. And um, so it becomes, yeah, dreadfully tangled web. Not only that, another secret from her past, and I don't know how much you want to say about it, comes forward in a big way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so I she's dealing with a lot. If, if people are watching this before then uh, I guess we won't say what it is. But, but yes, there's, there is a reason why she doesn't want to go back there. She is an avoidant person anyway. She doesn't yes. she keep people at arm's length. And other than the sort of central relationship in her life, which is her son, and I think she's been a good mom and they have a very good relationship. But in a sense, you know, your child at first anyway, as a baby, is within your kind of orbit of control. So as somebody who doesn't like the kind of the anarchy of human feelings. I think she has stayed within that kind of her own little fiefdom, if you like. Yeah, um, we, cut, we call her a cut and runner. <laughs> cut and runner. She is exactly, yeah, where's the door, yeah. So. Yes, indeed, yes. Um, and you know, you, you, you have told us, and it, it's no secret that she goes to work for a company that's being you know politicized uh wind farms a wind farm a norwegian uh one is going to be set mm. in the bay of that gorgeous little town that depends on the tourist trade and destroy their view um yes you know it's it's highly politicized here as well well it well it's it's politicized because it yeah i mean <laughs> god yeah i mean there yes. is, is is crazily politicized it doesn't need to be it is it is a a, a pressing question that we need to address um you could argue that it won't destroy their view, it will change their view. And that if we want to do the right thing for younger generations, you know, we've already messed the world up on our watch. Yeah, our generation no kidding. Has, have, you know, we've not, we've, we've all been denialists a bit. We thought, oh, that's not great, is it? Oh, I must recycle a bit more, but we haven't actually tackled it. We haven't elected the people with political will to do something about it. Um, so wind energy in a country like Ireland, it's very obvious. We have a lovely Atlantic coast with good, strong winds. It's, it's, we really ought to be using it. It's there for the using. Yes, it will change the view. You look out to sea and you'll see these turbines, but maybe like, I, I think, you know, solar panels on roofs, look good to me now because they look like a, a no solution. i i you know. never saw a sense in that dis dislike of of uh, those panels on roofs to me it's just it mm. as you say it's becoming a necessity and we yes. have choices soon if uh, if we want to preserve what we have yeah you know yeah. this show really touches on a lot of subjects and um you know particularly the the sort of industrial espionage <laughs> Here's this lovely lady, and she's being forced to be a spy, and it puts her in a tough position uh, in every which way. Um, did you feel when you were when you were creating her that it could be done and still have her being sympathetic? I was worried, truthfully, because, like I said, you 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 know, you I, I think part of possibly uh, selling something like this, a, a corporate proposal of any kind, involves um, spinning a certain yeah. way. Um, so she could characterize it that way as just part of what she has to do to get this across the line. But what she wasn't taking into account was the personal. And, um, and we, we come to like these characters, she does, we come to like the characters. Yeah. And then it turns out that she's actually lying to people that we all like. 
and we know it and she knows it know, and starts to feel worse and worse part. about it. I know. So yes, I was worried because I would not like to believe I would do that. And I, 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 I want to give her every so often I want to give her a shake. I'd read a new scene. And I think, ah, this is an opportunity for her to just fess up and just say, look guys, you know, and she doesn't. And it, 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 it she annoyed me a few times. So I don't know. It, it's up to the audience. But to, you know what? It's relatable because we all have uh, things that we do that we, maybe don't want to do or shouldn't do but we, oh, yeah. for yeah. whatever reasons. Mm. And so, I mean, it doesn't make her unsympathetic to me. I was surprised and I thought it was really cool that they would have a character with, you know, this unreliable narrator. I really liked that they did that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, look, it, it's, it, you know, you want a character with flaws because it, it, uh, because we identify. What's the point we, otherwise? We've all messed up. Yeah, exactly. If it was just a good character wandering around being saintly, well, you'd be bored. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and she, and she does mess up quite badly. As we and know. I love the fact that her son tells her to become a grown-up. Oh, he's, more, he's definitely more the grown-up. Definitely more the grown-up. I mean, there's something so... Um, I mean, they have a good relationship, relationship but they... Yes. they yeah, and, and she is maternal towards him. But he can see that she, he, he, he is very grown up and he, he knows her and he knows how avoidant she is. And if anything, he picks up the slack for her quite a lot. So um, and that too, I enjoyed, uh, you know, mm. that's realistic in a lot of ways. I remember when there was a TV show here, Kate and Ellie, years and years ago, people were, were hitting the roof because the, the children were more grounded than the parents. So, right. it, and I thought, well, why not? Yeah. The human spectrum well, why is a big thing. Of course it is, yeah. Yes. There are many, just, I mean, the fact of having and raising children, although it can obviously change a person, of course, and, 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 and make one less, you know, about the self and more about, you know, these creatures that, you know, are there. Um, it, it isn't at all always the case. Um, and uh, I know many instances of... Uh, if you like a parent who remains somehow less emotionally mature throughout their life and children who are older than their parents, if you like, in terms of their heads and their yeah. hearts. Very yeah. interesting. Well, I really enjoyed the Southwest release. Oh, good. Learned a Thank lot about, uh, about the area, which was fun. What a gorgeous place to shoot. Mm, mm, yeah, oh, yeah. so envious. It was beautiful. <laughs> yes. it was beautiful. And uh, yeah, look, that was a treat. At least it was a treat at the beginning because we started right at the end of the summer. So we were all going, hey, oh. great, we're by the seaside and we're staying in a place <laughs> by the sea and we're shooting on the beach and this is fab. About a month later, we're all going, oh, for heaven's sake, because we were still shooting a summer series. So if you look closely, you definitely, well, no, we had a good costume person, so you I'll won't. The but, but, but I was saying, well, it's not just the shivering. We had layers of thermal underwear underneath our T-shirts and our little summer sandals and summer light jeans. You know, we, had, like, we were layered up with sometimes several thermal vests, you know. Either I don't care. I don't care how funny I look. I just want to be warm because obviously you're outdoors for hours. Well, I'm so. glad you didn't have to do any swimming scenes in that way. <laughs> no, one swimming scene, and we did that early. We did really? it well, well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. What a delight to speak to you. What a delight to speak to you. That's lovely. And, and right. I love your, uh, your room rater must be very high. Gorgeous bookcase. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big reader. But I'm getting to the point now where I can't read the type, so I'll have to toss them. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very, very okay. much. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.